Hello, thank you for joining me. In a previous video, I talked about the building blocks of tatted lace, rings only, with just a, a thread space held in between the rings, moving on to rings and chains together. You make the ring, reverse, make a chain, reverse, make another ring and another configuration of the rings and chains where you make the ring reverse make the chain and join that way and one step further you're making three rings together before you reverse the clover leaf and chain in this video I just wanted to show few examples of things you can make using these building blocks. This rings and space pattern only, I made this greeting card. Just sewed this to a piece of counted cross stitch fabric and it's just simply rings with a, a thread space held in between. And this is I believe this is size 20 thread. And then I cross stitched a black work pattern in the middle. Very effective, but a very easy tatting pattern. So, one thing you can use your practice pieces for. The rings and chains pattern, I did the same thing. Just made an oval, stitched that onto some cross stitch fabric. This is a size 10 acru thread, and then I cross-stitched a little heart in there. The rings and chains, different configuration. I used a, I believe that's a pearl cotton size 5 variegated peach thread, and then I chose a DMC thread to match to do the black work cross stitch in between. And your clover leaf pattern. This is an, a simple egg. Here's your clover leaf here. And this is the first round here. And then your outside is just your rings and chains done in two different colors and then joined to your first round. Very simple patterns, but using different threads and different techniques, you can make very striking projects. I hope these give you some ideas to use your practice pieces and some inspiration to keep practicing. Thank you for watching.